Hi guys, it's Andy Gorman here and I want to introduce you to the putting board. Uh, this is a brand new product, but it's been around for a little while. One of the very best putters on the planet, recognised for his short game skills, former world number one, Luke Donald, has been using a format to learn to putt or to train his putting. I don't think he was learning at the time. Certainly to train his uh, putting with his coach, Pat Goss, in the United States and the putting board has come out of that uh, training development aid that Pat and one of his partners have been working on. So ultimately this product works really quite very slick and as you can see there it sets up as easy as that to screw the, the bolts down and you're good to go. But the benefits are actually here to be seen when you're actually using it. So we'll switch over to the one that I've made up earlier, bit of a repeat I think that's going on, um, for those of you that know in the UK, and we can see how it all works with the putter. So it's as simple as that, we can adjust the plane angle for each and every client, and that gives us a perfect opportunity to practice our stroke and understand a little bit more about putting in plane. We'll head over here, and we'll come back in a moment. So one of the key features to the putting board is the clip that sits on, basically creates a paddle um, with two bars at the side and that then, when we move it over to the putting board itself, creates a stable platform for us to rest the putter. Now, the beauty about this from my point of view is that we can now get into a fitting perspective in terms of how we fit a putter and then that allows us to get the optimum fit. So length, lie, etc., are going to be you know, really dialed in at this point. For me, the big deal is that we get the right length of the putter first from an athletic posture. Something that uh, we need to be in in order to be able to move from side to side, not rocking the shoulders. That's not a format that we're going to be teaching through here because ultimately you're not designed to rock the shoulders, you are designed to move from side to side by rotation and to do that you need to be in a pelvic flexion that is not too far. At this point now we can't rotate, we are restricted, whereas a little bit further up a more athletic position now we can rotate through our lower spine. So in effect what we have, before we place a ball down, is the optimum position, allow, allow my arms to hang from the shoulders elbows under the shoulders and then from here we're able to move the putter back and forward back and forward now what that does and from above the angle you'll be able to see the sweet spot of the putter is actually moving in plane so the sweet spot of the putter moves in plane not online and essentially what that means is that as the sweet spot of the putter is the only thing that arcs in effect. Now of course the face is going to open when we do that but the incline of the shaft determines what that rotation is going to be. It's not something that you are trying to rotate around your body. You are moving the putter from side to side in plane. And it's that movement, the in plane movement, that allows the sweet spot to follow the plane line that you see on the mat on the ground. It's one of the mats that I developed a number of years ago, but essentially has worked perfectly in plane and along with the putting board, we're able to put the two products together and produce the optimum visual effect as well as the kinesthetic feel of putting in plane. Putt Lab, Capto, they all confirm that swinging in plane is something that one is perfectly capable, all humans are perfectly capable of putting in plane. Secondly, it helps to centralize the sweet spot and understand how that movement works in terms of moving from side to side, how, what the arc actually is. The arc is straight. That sounds like an oxymoron, but it is actual factual. You can see here the movement of the putter, the shaft plane moves from side to side, the sweet spot. And the corresponding arc is a visual based on the fact that the putter is in plane but rising on the incline of the shaft. Once we understand that, 
understanding the putting stroke is much easier to understand what you're trying to do as a golfer. So crucially, swinging in plane, practicing on the putting board, seeing the visual that you can create using the mat, and remember that you're not creating it, it is happening as part of the process. And then from side to side, we're producing the optimum roll and a sweet spot strike onto the target. Give it a try. Available here in the UK, I am supplying, I do have them in stock. The stock is limited. I'll keep getting more in the more you're looking for. I'll catch up with you soon.